Welcome. We have uh, changed our system a little bit already. Let's go over it and see what we did. So we installed Variety and we just started Variety. And all the settings are coming from our personal settings configuration there. We copied our file and that's that. Um, close and we've chosen for this one. Coming from Desktopper, if you want to know, it's just find it out desktopper.co that's where all the beautiful wallpapers are and we've installed Plank why? how? why? because we need our programs to be there that's Plank, we just run it and then it's up here and we right mouse click it with our keyboard, control, right mouse click preferences I've chosen for Montremont, there are hundreds of themes uh, installed and choose one that goes well with your wallpaper then I can zoom. I have activated that one as well. And I did the start. Startup applications. And I've added blank. So we type add and we type blank, blank, blank three times. And that's it. And now next time it will be it will be run. Areola Icarus is just going to your hidden folder that you have when you install uh, via the scripts. You have this hidden .areola folder. I went into Icarus. I installed Icarus. Let's do that together. An uh, even better idea. Uh, let's assume that we're a few months uh, on and you see on Google Plus that Areola has changed. And there are updates. Then you do get Aureola from GitHub to local drive. Everything will be deleted in Aureola. Do you want this? Yes, no. Everything is deleted, so you've updated. All the bugs are out there. And we install Icarus. This is Icarus. We install it again. And we say open in terminal. Install Icarus. Yes, install it password for the DMI decode program that's that and now and now you go to the conky file the thing you see in the conky directory so dot config conky this thing is here and more specific this thing is this thing let's make it nicer as you can see it's orange as a background and we have a conky orange so we rename the original one original and we rename the conky orange to conky all we have to do oh I shouldn't have closed that one all we have to do is kill all conky and when I type conky the orange one will kick in and that's much better what else we should also change the icon, a uh, Linux Mint icon on Antergos. Let's change that. So we go to Linux Mint, Antergos, save. And there we are, everybody happy. And we have now the possibility to go furthermore into appearance, which is, I think, already open. So when you go to Antergos Mate, you type in appearance. And here you have this program that lets you change, for instance, customize. I've chosen for an Arctor Takao. So we have installed in the previous tutorial, we have installed themes. Themes that were changed via scripts. We have Arcalora, Arc Colora, which is coming from the GitHub from Horse 3180, you know the arc theme, the blue one, and you can change it to 16 million colors. So any color you like, you just pop it in, and you see this one is an orange kind of color, which is named the cow, and we've made a theme, a red theme, a blue theme, and so on. So we have our personal theme activated. That's what you see, arc dark the cow, the window border. So this one is as well our dark taco you can change it any way you want and icons have been 
chosen for Sardin Mono Papyrus Colora, Colora, which kind of looks like this. But you can take any kind of color. And I thought blue was also quite nice. But whatever color and thing you like, you just choose it, pop down, maybe a surfing icon theme as well. I don't know, this one. So now we've chosen also different kind of application icons. Everything is changed, everything looks differently. All applications, everything is completely different. So the Sardi icons and the surfing icons are completely different. Uh, what else? We changed the fonts to from Sans to Noto Sans regular, which is a font coming from Linux Mint 18.1 and previous. And we, well, we kind of look like this look and we kind of like this size. You can make a Windows title maybe a little bit bigger. It's a title after all. So this one is a little bit changed now. Windows title font, yeah. We can make it also bold and italic. That's probably better to see that uh, it changes a bit too big now, like so. Okay, so these are the possibilities to change. I still don't have my mouse cursor, something I've missed. So how about my mouse? Nope, nothing here. How about my cursor? We should find out and figure out where to do, put it, so where to change it, but let's straight away to go to the May tweak and the May tweak we change that as well we don't want to show all these icons here but we do want to work on the, the desktop so we can change things and put things on there so that's okay interface the show icons on menus and buttons the panel you can change panels here but let's keep everything as it is and we can change the windows here but still no possibility to change our mouse okay let's keep looking type in settings and we're not seeing it but it's called here control center and here we'll have probably no uh, trouble figuring out where to change it but the question is still where that's also always with these little programs so we went in appearance, has appearance this or not, that's the first thing you have to check. And yes, we have, we have breeze snow here, close, and that's the icon or the pointer I want to have, breeze snow. In XFCE you have to go to the mouse and touchpads and every distro is a bit different. And it just came from XFC, so that's why I was looking for it. Where is it again? There are other things to figure out and tell you, but um, the tutorial will be too long if I do. What's next? I would go, would like to go into detail about the tweak, the tweak system. So to tweak, to make the tweak, and I'm gonna put this in favorites like so. Drag it over here, and it's in in the favorites now, and we can go and talk about this May tweak in another tutorial.